Hello, I'm Meredith and I'm a 78er. What is one of your key memories of that night? I've got a couple of key memories. I think um, the first one was when we gathered uh, in Taylor Square to walk down to Hyde Park was the sheer number of people and even more than that, the passion and exuberance uh, of over a thousand, what I would think was over about a thousand people. And this was my community and I was included and I'd only just turned 17 the month before. So it was really, and I'd left home because of my sexuality. So for me, this is where I was fully included, where um, I was um, empowered to be um, who I was and, and who I was becoming as a lesbian. And just the other uh, memory that I have was that when we arrived in College Street, there was a large menacing police presence and I found that quite intimidating. Um, the couple of friends that I was with who were much older than me, um, two guys from acceptance, I'd actually lost track of them. And so I felt, um, um, I felt quite intimidated. And at that point, even though I knew that the crowd was going to King's Cross, I decided to call it a night and go home. What are your hopes for the future for Mardi Gras? My hopes for the future, of course, it's a very different world today than what it was in the 70s. And of course, recently with the um, uh, popular vote for marriage equality uh, and so many other laws that have been uh, in the favour of LGBTIQ people, there's so much more acceptance now. And Mardi Gras has become far more mainstream um, so that all sort of sexualities and demographics take part. There's a sadness about that in a way because we've lost the, the edginess of that, but it's evolved as society has evolved and homophobia is becoming a lot less now. And of course, we'll continue to do so over the next generation or so because younger people are saying from all walks of life that they don't get what the fuss is anymore. And so I hope that Mardi Gras will continue to go from strength to strength. But also I'm hoping that we won't forget the place where we came from and and the people who were the forerunners of what has become a great celebration um, today um, particularly those activists i'm thinking of the 53 who were, who were arrested and put their lives and livelihoods on the line um, but but the other activists who were there that night and in subsequent parades and what we were actually able to achieve so that younger people can enjoy a, a, a lot more acceptance and, and freedom and equality today. And one more bit, can you say something more equivalent of happy Mardi Gras? I hope you all have a fantastic Mardi Gras.